Good morning, everyone. Happy Monday. I hope you all had a blessed weekend. Okay. And uh, for all you fathers out there, I hope you had an amazing Father's Day. Uh, just coming to, to you today, I uh, just want to share a quick thought with you. Um, uh, how many of you guys like to run? Um, I actually didn't like running as far as like long distance. And I still wouldn't really consider myself a long distance runner. Um, but as I've gotten older and as I stopped playing basketball competitively for like school and college, um, I've learned that running is an essential part of keeping my heart strong, right? And so uh, running keeps me uh, physically active. It keeps me physically healthy. And so um, this is a discipline that I have learned to, to keep and, and just maintaining my health and and vitality throughout my getting older into my into my upper year or well, into getting older I should say and so um you know that we have to have spiritual disciplines too uh because we're all running a race right now and um so that's kind of what I'm going to be talking about today uh, by the way my name is Pastor Manny um this is a ministry we have here at English Oaks called Looking Up uh, and Pastor Bob and I are going to be sharing uh, our, our devotionals on Monday and Thursday now and so so just be on the lookout for that okay and uh, just going back to what we're talking about, um, we're all running a race, right? And and when sometimes when I think about running a race, I think of just the training that these athletes go through uh, of their with their bodies and how they do interval training, right? They 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 uh, do fast, speed up and down, slow and and go fast, go slow. They go miles, five miles one day. They work up until they can go ten miles, right? So they do they, they do all this training uh, for one race. And, and um, we are in a race called the race of life, right? And so um, we're, as we know, we are in a great controversy where, where God is, is trying to win um, uh, our hearts. He's trying to win our hearts over. And the devil is trying to, to do the same thing, but he's trying to destroy us, right? And so uh, we are in this race called the race of life. And in this race, uh, we need spiritual disciplines to keep us closer to God, right? And I'm going to share what Paul says in, in 1 Corinthians uh, 9 verses 24 through uh, 27 and says this, don't you realize that you are in a, a race? Everyone runs, <clears throat> but only one person gets the prize. So run to win. All athletes who are disciplined in their training, they do it to win a prize that will fade away. But we do it for an eternal prize. So I run with purpose in every step. I am not just shadow boxing. I discipline my body like an athlete training training it to do what it should. Otherwise, I fear that after preaching to others, I myself may be disqualified. All right, so so Paul is is giving this amazing analogy of, of how um, just like runners are running for, for a prize, um, we are running up for a prize too, but it's an eternal prize, right? It's a prize that, that is everlasting. And so, but as we are running, we need to be disciplined as well. In, in certain aspects, discipline in prayer and study of scripture. Now more than ever, uh, we need to really be studying our Bibles because there is so much uh, thing on media. There's so many things on media that, that grab our attention, right? That grab our attention. So many sides that are saying one thing and another side saying the other thing. Um, so uh, truth right now is very hard to find in the media. This is why we need to really, really study scripture. And for those, I, I just want to encourage you, for those that are that are really into to the media stream right now, really into the news and all that stuff, um, I really want to encourage you as much time as you spend watching the news, I want to pray that I will you, that that you will spend more time reading the scripture. Or maybe that time you're spending the news, maybe turn it off for like a week and study the Bible during that time, right? Because um, now more than ever, we need to know scripture we need to really study scripture and we just need to go back to our roots, to our foundations and, and to really to really seek God with all of our hearts. And um, this is going to help us uh, be disciplined. This is going to help us uh, run with purpose in every step, right? Because uh, we are running a race that is eternal, right? And not just a prize that we get that fades away. And so um, that's just one, what I want to encourage us with. Right. Um, remember that we, we need these disciplines, prayer, the Bible study, uh, community. Right. Community is so important in keeping us strong and healthy as Christians. And I know it's really hard right now um, with this whole COVID thing. And that's what that's one of the reasons why I wanted to share this, too, because who knows how long we're going to be in this for. Right. We thought, oh, man, this is probably going to be for like two months, a couple of weeks, maybe. 
um but now like it's it's looking like it could be longer like who knows it could be for the rest for the rest of 2020 right but how whatever the case may be um we can be assured that the race that we're running if we be if we are disciplined if we are if we remember that we are running with purpose every step of the way we are going to get through not just the covid thing but we are going to endure till the end and that's what the most important thing is right so so i just want to share that with you uh, uh church family and, and for those of you that don't don't you know maybe for this is your first time seeing me or seeing our our or hearing about our church um i just want you all to be blessed I want you guys to just uh, stay strong, uh, stay safe, and stay healthy, okay? Uh, God bless. Take care. Remember, run that race. Run with purpose. Run with run with endurance. Uh, run with discipline. And, and we are going to endure to the end, all right? God bless and have a great week.